Good day, Stillman. This is Mr. Johnson, and I'm talking about your black history fact for today. The person I'm going to be talking about is someone who's actually a relative of mine, is someone from the Chicago area, George E. Johnson. George E. Johnson was born in Mississippi, but moved to the Chicago area at age two. In 1954, he founded a company with his wife known as Johnson Products. It basically dealt with the African-American male hair care market. He started this with $500 as a financial to finance the venture. The company's first product was called UltraWave, a hair relaxer for men. In 1957, UltraSheen, which was a revolutionary hair straightener that could easily be used in the home, was introduced for women. During the next quarter century, more product lines were introduced like AfroSheen. AfroSheen was one of Johnson's best known products which was released in the late 1960s at a time when the Afro became a popular hairstyle for African Americans. Over the next few decades, Johnson Products continued to grow, focusing its efforts on not only its products line, but on training cosmetologists on the proper usage as well. In 1964, Johnson founded the Independence Bank, and during the 1970s, he became the exclusive sponsor behind the nationally syndicated dance show, Soul Train. In 1971, Johnson Products became the first African-American-owned company to be listed on the American Stock Exchange. That same year, Johnson became the first African-American to serve on the board of directors of Commonwealth Edison. Independence Bank was sold in 1994, and Johnson resigned as the executive officer of Johnson Products Company in 1989. Johnson Products Company was purchased by Procter & Gamble Corporation in 2004, but in March 2009, a consortium of African-American investment firms bought the company. Cool. All right. All right, let's do this. Happy Friday, Steelman. You are watching the February 26th edition of the SNN News with me, Angel, and my friends. The Ballroom Dance Club will be meeting after school today in the Student Center multi-purpose room. New members are always welcome. Attention, Steelman readers. Book Club is going to Comic-Con again on Saturday, March 5th at 12 p.m. Want to join us? Stop by the Central Library, pick up a field trip form and more information. It is free. Those students who signed up for the Spring Driver's Ed should be aware that the permit test for those enrolled in the Monday Wednesday class will be today after school in room T681. Please bring a $20 check or money order made out to the Secretary of State. And don't forget to go online to CyberDriveIllinois.com to fill out the permit application before the test. Now here's T. Swistle with some more announcements. Voting for the 2016 Abe Lincoln award-winning book will take place from February 15th through March 15th in the library. Abe Lincoln Book Award is given to the book that receives the most votes from Illinois high school students. The list of Abe books can be found in the library. You must have read at least four of the books from the Abe list in order to vote. See a librarian if you have any questions. Athletic supporters. Baseball tryouts will begin on February 29th and last until March 2nd. Freshman tryouts will be from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Fieldhouse each of these days. Sophomore tryouts will be from 5.30 to 7.30 on Monday and Wednesday, and from 7.30 to 9.30 on Tuesday. Varsity tryouts will be from 7.30 to 9.30 on each of these days. For questions or for more information, please see Coach Fitzgerald in room 365. Steelman, it's not too late to buy a 2015-2016 yearbook. Just come to room 277 or the bookstore to place your order of only $39. Now here's Edgar with some more announcements. Thanks, T-Swizzle. Ladies of Steel Girl Soccer Trials will be held on Monday, February 29. Thursday, March 2nd, freshmen will be inside from 345 to 530 in the Fieldhouse Court A. Depending on the weather, Seniors, juniors, and sophomore tryouts may be outside or inside. Seniors and junior tryouts will be outside from 3.30 to 5.30 at the stadium or inside from 5.30 to 7.30 in the North Main Gym. Sophomore tryouts will be outside from 4.30 to 6.30 at the stadium or inside 5.30 to 7.30 in the South Main Gym. Bring outdoor and indoor clothes, shin guards, cleats, and indoor gym shoes every day. You must have an updated physical on file with the athletic office and make sure to register on 8 to 18 for girls soccer. If you have any questions, please see Coach Hammond in PE, Coach Phillips in room 119, or Coach Upjohn in room 273. 
and girls softball tryouts will begin on Monday, February 29th in the field house. Freshmen are from 3.30 to 5.30, sophomores are from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., and varsity is 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. You must be registered on 8 to 18 and have an updated physical turned into the athletic department's office to try out. For more information, please contact Coach Douglas at edouglas at jths.org or stop by room 121. Attention Steelmen! The Juliet Central girls track team has their first meet of the season tomorrow at Plainfield South at 9 a.m. Please come out and support the Lady Steelmen as they dominate the track. Also, the Joliet Boys track team has an invite tomorrow at Joliet West. Please come out and support your teams.